Hey everybody, welcome to Food and Kitchen, um, back again. Today I went to the um, farmer's market in New York at Union Square. They have one there every week and they have um, all kinds of fruits and vegetables from local growers, they have artwork, just all kinds of stuff. Um, today I got just a small amount. Um, there's another one that comes over by Thompson Square Park that I like to go to as well. So I kind of do both. Let me tell you a little bit about the um, things I get as a vegan that are fresh and from the local market. So uh, one of my favorite things, and Iggy's too, are peas. They shuck them there. Um, at one, and these are all organic. I only um, buy organic when I can. They're um, hand shot. They're raw. You can eat them raw. They're really good. Or you can cook them. I like them raw. And um, the iguana on everything likes them raw too. Um, they sell fresh herbs. This is a chocolate mint. And it is really, really good. Um, mint's good. I like to put it in tea um, and sometimes my coffee. Or sometimes I just make mint water. And um, tastes really good. Fresh cilantro. It's um, always good for Mexican dishes or to um, like mix with tomatoes for on top of a salad. Um, they also had white turnips, which are really good and just something different. I always like if there's something different or a bit of variety to try and get them. Um, now this was my awesome find for the day. Brussels sprouts. Uh, it's a massive stock of Brussels sprouts. I was so excited when I found this. Um, not only is it organic, but it's super fresh and just pull them off and steam them as needed. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, then we have blue kale. I eat a lot of kale and I always love it when I can find different varieties. Um, I know the color on the camera is not really all that great today. But this is blue kale. Uh, this ha kale happens to be one of Iggy's favorites besides the peas. And then I've got this, which is a Chinese vegetable called tapsoy. Tapsai. And um, it looks kind of like lettuce. It's really pretty, really interesting. And it's a stir fry vegetable. So you just pull them off and throw them in your stir fry. But it caught my eye because it was really interesting and pretty looking. And it's fairly big. It smells really good too. And then um, all these were organic. The few things that I pick up there that aren't organic. Um, applesauce. Um, no sugar, just pure applesauce. And this is really good. Um, it's a night, late night stack or in the morning or lunch. I eat a lot of applesauce because it's low in sugar and it's good for you. Um, I'm really thinking about my cider, and again, this isn't organic, um, they didn't have any, but um, this cider is really, really good. Um, you know, a lot of sediment at the bottom, you give it a good shake before you use it. Um, it's just, you know, the turnips and the cider and the applesauce and, you know, the um, Brussels sprouts, they're really great. Um, Really great fall finds. There was a lot of pumpkins and squashes and stuff like that, which I'll probably pick up tomorrow. They're a little heavy. Um, if you do go to the local farmers markets, you want to kind of bring. A, they have plastic bags, but if you're doing any bit of walking, there's a lot of. Um, they're heavy. You know, a lot of the stuff there is heavy. Like I wanted a gallon of this, but I didn't want to walk with the gallon. So um, this is some of the stuff I picked up at Union Square. There's a lot more stuff there, like I said, but I do try to only buy organic. And there's only about four or five places that sell organic um, foods there. You know, you can buy jellies and jams. And if you're vegetarian, you can buy honey. Um, but this is just a little bit amount of stuff that you can find in Union Square on Saturday. So um, thanks for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys later.